Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here in Victoria 2 playing as the Empire of Brazil HFM. So usually at the beginning of every campaign I show you exactly like the world map before we start playing but I figured you know what this time there's really not that much to show you. So I figured just go right in the game and also I did want to do a few things here with the policies and stuff like that just because I don't know. It's just like you, you could have cheats and I'm like I don't feel like cheating. Maybe eventually. But, uh, hide all cheat menus? Go ahead. Uh, choose, choose a trade, trade policy. While the ruling party has its own broad trade policy, there are several schools of economic thought competing, uh, competing, competing for space in the government. Adopting a trade policy will take away some of the flexibility in settling, setting tariffs, but it will allow for more efficient trade or tariff collection, and possibly other benefits over what a volatile tariff police might have. Or policy. So... Uh, gathered with the Brazilian king in Rio de Janeiro to discuss in detail the government's trade policy. While they all agree on protect protectionist policies, several of them want a more staunch protection of Brazilian economy, while others prefer to maintain freedom when setting tariffs. Less tax efficiency, more minimum tariff tariff efficiency? No set policy. We're going to protect the Brazilian economy as best as we can. It will be perfect. Now we can ally the FRCA, which is this El Salvador group. Where is it? Something. I'm not really sure what they stand for. Uh, they're allied with Co Venezuela. That'd be good. And frankly, I, want, I really want to take out Colombia. Now, I'm taking a look here at my RGOs. And I already did the education thought. I've already put it on here since we only 5.5%. Let us see. We're at war with R Rio Grande do Sul. So, like people of the South River. Like the big old river down here. Uh, I'm looking over here. The only coal spot in South America. There's two. There's improvability, which I can't take out because I don't have a big enough army. Uh, they score of one. Colombia actually has a score of one as well. So I want to take them out so I can take their coal because coal is really, really useful, especially in early game. If I want to take out oh, the check, oh, the checks have a lot of coal up here. But uh, I want a lot of coal. I was thinking about invading it, Madagascar, but something tells me the French might show up eventually. So it'll be what it will be. Uh, but we're currently in a war. Where's our army? Ooh, Thirty guys. We're going to do this. Let's balance our budget. And by balance our budget, I mean set tariffs to high, which doesn't do very much for us. Lower this by a little bit. I will pump up education a little bit later on. Tax the hell out of the middle class. Lower class, I mean. Uh, middle class. You're going to stay there. You guys are going to stay there because we're going to need some money. And it's 1836. It's HFM historical flavor mod. Not HPM or base game, which I played both already. I want to try out HFM just because, like I said, I played the base game with Japan. I've played HFM. PM historical project mod with Russia, and I've decided, you know what, let's play H HFM. It's a little bit more buggy, a little, a little bit more laggy, but let's play as a nation somewhere that can get a ton of immigrants that's not in Asia or Europe. So, right now we got a lot of slaves. I don't like slaves. I disagree with slavery because you can't tax slaves. Slaves can't be taxed, and that's a big no-no in my book. I need that money, that mm, that tasty money. Uh, let's let time go on just a little bit and get our soldiers down there. Do we have... Ooh, no artillery. Uh, I'd love to have... Ooh, dragoons. We have enough horses for now. Mm. Alright, so. Uh, King of Sardinia. Cool. Enabling this feature will enable splendid isolation for the UK. It will break alliances with any great power except for Portugal, Ottomans, Belgium, or Japan. So, so do we want them to be basically pretty historical. I would say for now, I, I don't know about, you know, UK Brazilian relations in the 19th to early 20th century. I'm going to say Splendid Isolation because I want to see what a more historical game is like, and that's why I decided to play as Brazil. I don't want to be in Europe and just just die. Cool, so we're at war with these guys. We have cores on these guys, I'm going to beat them up. I also want to take out Uruguay. Uruguay. Because that's like the thing you do. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, buddy, that's a lot of infamy. Oh, that's less than half. Oh, I'll pop at them, but I... Mm. What are geos do they have down here? Grain, wool, fish, and livestock. So, nothing of interest. Ooh. If I justify on them now, we'll finish these guys off soon enough. They have no score. We might as well take them out. For the love of God, I hope, I just hope we don't get that much infamy. Because uh, I have plans to take out Paraguay as well as maybe Peru, Bolivia. Maybe. Spain. Yeah, they're going to occupy places. Uh, Venezuela? Sure. Can I call you in Venezuela? In this war? They will not accept. 
Colombia's you're isolated, which is good. Will you guys join us? Oh! Oh, sure, yeah. Great, thanks for honoring my alliance. Maybe we can pull you guys in and... No, we were discovered. It's 18, that's not bad. Uh, it is what it is. God dang it. I just want to take your capital. It's really annoying fighting these guys, because they can just move whenever they feel like. Super annoying. I'm just going to take their capital, hopefully. Hopefully that's all we really have to do. Okay. Humiliated? Oh, they be the annexed. Alright, so our, our armies are doing pretty well. We got big old tariffs on them. They're going to take that tile, their province there, but Porto Alegre. How much war score do we need to kill these guys off? I don't like these guys. I really don't. 41, that's not bad. Now, this might be a bad idea. Oh, come on. Come on. We'll get there one day later. Yeah, I'm just taking the country over. Screw it. So, waiting for these guys to be made. That's good. Uh, mission to Uruguay. What are you talking about? Actually, that's a good thing for us right now, just because we... Oh. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Oh. You know, Colombia, I really want to kill you off. Oh. Wait, hold on. Oh, they've... Oh, nationalists down there. Nah, we good, man. We good. Chile declared war on them. Nice. Very nice. Come on, man. Why you gotta do this to me? So, we can go to war with them by May of next year. Which... All this stuff should be finished up by then. Now, this is probably a bad idea, attacking them here. Grassland Hills. Defense is normal. Could I kill them off here? Uh, no. Come on. Come on. All I have to do is probably win, and then we could probably end this war by May. We need to go to war with them by May. Oh, we've lost a lot of guys. Don't lose. Oh, we won. We took a few more casualties, which isn't good, but whatever. But now we've got cannons, so that actually doesn't even matter, probably. God dang it. Mm. Where are you guys headed to? Pelotas. Actually, I'm going to go to Santa Maria because we don't have the strength for this. But once we get cannons, that should be good. Because they're not using cannons at all. This is killing my army. Oh my goodness, my army. Oh. So not bueno. Ooh. Go there. Alright. We're going to siege this down. We'll be able to siege this down faster than they can siege that down, which will be good. Get in, unite with the army. Take this province. Smash that army. That's the goal. Can I build anything else? We're building another good thing in my bob. Good. That's a few too many horses for my liking, to be honest with you. Come on. And then we're going to take these guys out. We're going to smash them down. Come on. Come on. Oh, we need more education efficiency. 6.3. Cool. Go ahead and do that. Good. Oh, they're, they're losing men, which is great. Can you just die, please? Please die. You're telling me. Please don't move. Please don't move. Oh, we've got him. Get the cannons on the front line. Nice. Oh. Good, they all died. As they deserve to all die. Cool. So this war is pretty much done. Uh, and then we got to go to war with Uruguay. Take them out. Lower our infamy. Peru, Bolivia is not having a good... Are you at war? Oh, you're at war with them too. Nice. Argentine Confederation. That's going to be probably one of the hardest countries we're going to have to kill. It would be most difficult to take out. Which is fine. You know, whatever. Uh, yeah. You know what? You guys stay up there. For now. And we can also go to war with Paraguay sometime too. They have six military score. We have 11. So we're not that ahead of them. Alright, it's probably not enough yet. Nope. Oh, we gotta get this last province, or take this one out. Eh, you might as well come down here. Who cares? The Sab... Sabinada? Ah, so Francisco Sabino, a military officer, launched a radical revolt in Bahia calling for the end of slavery and the redistribution of land. Well, we do have a lot of slaves. Now, I don't know. We do get an option here. To... Eventually liberate slaves. If we get enough militancy, we can manually do it. We do have a decision, though, to do it over here. Uh, native status, fatherland, volunteers. 
the Golden Law, which ab abolishes slavery and adds Afro-Brazilian as an accepted culture. Do we want Afro-Brazilian as an, Afro an accepted culture? Because right now, if we don't, the only people that are accepted in our country is just Brazilians. Oh, not them. Actually, store order? Nah, we want to just eat you. Hmm. Because right now, we all we have is a Brazilians, and if we get have Afro-Brazilians as an accepted culture, that'd be great. But it might be possible to unify or make make them assimilate. Force assimilation there. There you go. Yeah. Put you down. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Create a slave state, which looks okay. We get more RGO throughput and output. Create a free state. Uh, I guess we extend slavery, because why not? They're allied with the Argentine Confederation. You were at war with those guys. Hmm. We could risk it. They will not accept. Okay, conquest them. Argentine Confederation. What are they up to? They have a military score of three, so which which isn't very much. We could try it. It'll probably not go very well for us. We're gonna need some more infantry though. Uh, let's see, one recon, one, five, four, one, oh my god, no. So we have an extra army building up there. That's fine, we're gonna do it. If they don't want to come in, so be it. They've made their decision, and so have I. We might be at war with the Argentine Confederation. There goes my money since I bought stuff. So Tuscany's going to be doing stuff. It seems like they did not come in. Well, you never know. You never know. Right now, though, ooh, it's costing us quite a bit. Maybe lower that a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more. Uh, you guys. Doing okay. Good, good, good. Attacking their enemies. And I will, like, get rid of some of these overdone brigades. Like, they can't support any more divisions, brigades, and stuff like that. War of the... Farapos? Porto Alegre is under Brazilian control once again. The Gauchos, however, have promised to continue their rebellion against what they consider unfair rule from the throne. It may prove difficult in the coming years to keep the region calm. Hmm. Seems like we're going to crack down on some people then. Oh, now we got more people because we can raise these guys up as battalions, brigade, which would be great. Wanari Trusts. Oh, nice. Good. I do not let them raise a new army up. Only I can raise an army. Oh, no. Looks like we're making enough money. It's going to cost us quite a bit, but we need to educate our people. We must have education. Ooh. What's going on up here? Corrientes? Corrientes? Oh, they have a ship. I don't even have a ship. Fancy. Now, that's a big Peru. Oh, my goodness. Three. Uh, Bolivia. Hmm, you do own something that I like. Peru, would you like an alliance? No. Alright, how about you, Bolivia? Would you like an alliance? No. Oh, we've got really good relations with them. Uh, let's do that. And I want to increase relations with Venezuela, maybe. Oh, and the UK. Definitely the UK. They are led by the Whig Party. Excuse me, sir. Oh. Oh, well, I'm, well, actually, I'm a little surprised they didn't want to go to war with me. Yeah, it seems like Italy, everyone in Italy wants to restore the Italian kingdom. Well, look at that. Uh, You know what? We'll disband some people once we have, you know, this done. Because we need to be at peace. And peace is good. Usually. And another army. Good, good, good. We'll probably combine those two. Anything up there? Oh, good. Bureaucrats. And we'll build up some naval ports, building up Rio de Janeiro with bureaucrats, which is awesome. There's a lot more Afro-Brazilians down there, huh? Slaves? What an outdated institution. So, also, let me know if the, if the audio is too loud or not, just because when I ooh, started up HFM, my audio settings were not... The same as HPM, I had to redo it, so 
I think I got a pretty good mix, but, you know, it is what it is. Argio throughput. That's not extend slavery. So no slaves down here, but slaves over here. This won't hurt anyone any, at any time. Cool. So let's do that and see what we need. So about equal. Hmm. If that's the case, I'm going to send you guys to, like, here and then there. We have a little bit of money, and we could go to war, but we still already have 17 infamy. We really can't do that much, so we're going to do something like that. That'll be good. Don't tax the upper class, because I want them to spend some money. I'll we'll do, do that. E Ooh, Ecuador. I'm not sure about... Oh, maybe. Maybe. I'm not allied with anybody. Um, I'm going to say no for now. I'll increase relations with you. Spain. They have Sulu. Ah, America has Texas. That's cool. The cool, unique... Well, it's kind of unique. Prussian flag is okay. Kingdom of France looks pretty cool. Uh, oh, yeah, don't forget. You guys. Uh, let's get some more education for the people. And we do want to go to war with Paraguay eventually, so. But like I said, 60 military score, 8. Ah, good. More education. And war hurts your immigration. So we could get more immigrants, which is something we really, really, really want before we do anything else. Uh, I'm just going to grab probably more education. I'm going to play this a little bit like my Russian strategy. Oh, what's going on down here? Are they rebelling? Oh, they kind of are. But... A slower early game, but a pretty menacing middle to late game. As long as inf infamy permitting. Nice. So, actually, it's not great. <laughs> it's not great, but it's not bad. We need more artillery. Which we do have the capabilities of building more. So instead of Rio, I'm keeping these guys down here just because you never know what might happen. Puerto Alegre. Let's see. Population. Where's the population? Oh god, I'm not even looking right now. I am looking, but I oh, there it is. Duh. Numbers. Numbers. What do they mean? Everyone can come right there. It's fine. We're going to build up a port. There we go. Because if we can get ally Peru, we might be able to go to war with Bolivia. Take some stuff off. Maybe go to war with Argentina or Chile. Maybe. Maybe not. And let's get a port. Oh, we already have a port there. Good. Uh, Puerto... Seguro, and then uh, obviously I don't speak Portuguese or Brazilian Portuguese, but I'll try my best. Portezela, uh, Portezela, uh, Portezela. Grau Pera, cool, awesome. And we do want this Amazonas part. You bunch of evil, evil people. So actually, it's interesting because I played this before, you know, off screen, you know, just to practice this a little bit, but. We had, like, Peru, South Peru, Bolivia. Let's raise that up, too. And this is actually different, because sometimes they go to war with each other. There's, like, three countries here instead of these two. I was expecting there to be three countries. Oh. oh okay, you guys are doing something. But that's interesting. Yeah, there you go. Annex them. That's cool. I definitely want to get into here, though. All right, so we could... Actually, we could go to war with them right now. But I want to wait to get that extra guy. Because we can go to war whenever we want. Because we they have cores. We, of us. It's only been two years so far. But yeah, HFM is a little laggy. Because there's so many more nations in here. Jamaica agreed. Oh god, what are they doing? Hmm, there's an oriental crisis. Zambezia. Prussian intervention in Egypt. Oh yeah, sure, that's good. British intervention in Egypt. Wow, that's a radical flag, Jamaica. Wow, East India Company? Everyone hates Egypt. Uh, Egypt, what'd you do to piss everyone off? Bruh. I mean, you're looking pretty thick. Kind of nice and long. Long boy. But that's a, that's a bit crazy, man. That's a bit crazy. All right, so how close are we to making these guys? Oh, they're already here. Cool. All right, back to war. Does it hurt her? For the most part, we're still making money. Love it. Uh, Bolivia. Ooh, you guys are gonna probably smash each other eventually. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna take a prestige hit. Might as well. What is France doing? Just created the Russian Empire. Awesome. Against Paraguay, they have a score of 9. I have a score of 18, so I have double their score. Uh, let's go and go to war. They shouldn't go... I probably won't be able to call my allies in. 
Nah, they don't care. That's fine. I don't. It, it doesn't matter to me. All we need to do get do is get the capital. And we're back at war, so we get less. Uh, they have a yeah. Do that. And let's do this. They probably won't intervene. I did have them go, you know, splendid isolation, but eh, it's okay. I'm, what else am I going to do with my uh, diplomatic points? Oh, look. They added more guys. So they have a few cannons. Gun defense. They're a little bit entrenched. But we have good attack under Ernesto Sores. Oh, he's really good on defense. Nice. More speed. Ah, whoop those boys. El Salvadorian Thaw. Oh, looks sounds like my ally just went kaboom. Pilar. You know what? Chase him. Ooh, that might have been a bad idea. Hmm. Our guy's okay on attack. Oh, we are crossing. Oh. Oh, this is more immigrant push. When Pedro de Araujo Lima became prime minister, provoking the so-called conservative regression, the Maranhao conservatives took advantage of the opportunity to remove the liberals in power and weaken them further by contracting the service of the cattle ranchers, traditionally supported by the liberals. The event which began the revolt was the detention of the brother of the rancher, Gomez, a liberal by the order of the sub-mayor of the town of Manga, a conservative. Contesting the detention of his brother, Gomez, with the support of the contingent of the National Guard, invaded the municipal jail, freed him in 1839, which began the rebellion against the conservative government. Damn liberals. Well then. Uh, oh, this is probably, that's... Uh, you know what? Go and do that. If they leave, great. If they don't, they really have no organization, so. What's going on here? Uh, I don't care about this stuff. Oh, we have, oh, the Netherlands gave up, probably. Their claims to Belgium. That really sucks. That's okay, though. Honduran Thaw. Oh, nice, we won. And there goes our ally. That's why I don't really care about him too much early game. You know, at this point, can I have my cores? Oh, no, we need one more war score. Actually, could I add... Eh, that's going to cost infamy. I don't want to do that. Infamy is such a precious number. So as long as we get their capital, that's all that matters. They can try to do that as much as they want, and it won't matter. Cool. Uh, why do you want Belgium and the Netherlands separated? United Provinces of the Netherlands sounds so much better. Cool. They're done. C36. Excuse me, Paraguay. We will keep everything we've gained. Absolutely. And now you'll be on that type of task force. Can we raise any more armies up? No, we can't. Still, not a bad composition. Let's go ahead and ra lower our budget for now until we get called into a terrible war. And, you know what? We haven't done this yet. Actually, let me do this first. You guys are good. You guys are great. You guys are great. Go ahead and... Oh, you guys are... Yeah, you guys are good. Put some bureaucrats here, too. And we'll get some intellectuals very soon as well. War... Demobilizing. Good. And I do want to see migration. So we are getting a few immigrants, from, mostly from France, Prussia, cool, Germany, Portugal. Oh yeah, bring on the Portuguese people. That just helps them so much more easily integrate into country, since they already mostly know the language, I think. Oh yes, give me the immigrants, yes. I love the immigrants. Don't pay attention to the slaves. You will not become slaves, immigrants. Probably. Probably. You never know. But just come on down. Look at America. So many immigrants. Oh, imperialist France. Terrible. You know, I want to play as Texas someday. That sounds really hard, but that'd be fun. Fighting in the streets. Tensions in one of our provinces reached a boiling point recently, with liberals and reactionaries battling in the streets. Brazilian police were quick to move in, but tempers remain high, and already there are reports of fighting elsewhere in the state. Officials are calling for decisive action to put an end to the violence. Punish the liberals. I'm going to sell, tell both of them to stop, because I need more anger here. Oh, people are leaving France. Yeah, people are just leaving the old world in general. Oh, Prussia, what are you doing, man? No, no, don't go to America. Come to Brazil. Brazil is best country. And that's why we're going to increase relations with the Conservative Party of the UK. Uh, I'm going to also increase relations with France, because they're still pretty strong. 55 military score. Yeah, that, they're even stronger than the UK. Oh, France. Oh, God, you're looking pretty good. But I don't think Russia's going to invade us. And something's going on with their industrial number here. It's having a little panic attack or something. Not cool. Whatever. Let's see. Oh, yes. Give me those immigrants. Yes. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice. Let's see. So, we've got some Af mostly Afro-Brazilians, which we need to get rid of slavery. Uh, eventually. Once this keeps... As long as this keeps rising, that'll be good. We need to lower our... Uh, what's I going to say? Lower something. I can't remember now. It just slipped my mind. Lower something. Is that... 
Oh, there we go, some North Germans, they're assimilating. I love assimilation. Yes, Chile. Yes, maybe we can beat up on Bolivia together. Discredit these people, discredit... I, I don't care. I don't care. So, oh, I was remembering. There's... Now, we're... Rank 14. We're considered secondary power. And I could get prestige tax to increase that further and further and further. Which is a strategy I have not done yet on this channel, which I might do. But... Education. I mean, I'm thinking education. We want Brazil to be number one, at least in South America, if not the entire world. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot, Egypt. Thanks a lot for nothing. It's only 1839. God, I, I really kind of want to play as Texas too someday. Oh, that'd be so much fun. A Texan empire? Oh my god, that sounds amazing. But that that's going to be really difficult. Hmm. Ah, uh, that Brazilian coffee I've got. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, wait. Oh, supply's bad here. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm causing problems here. Oh, reactionaries. Uruguay nationalists. Yeah, no. Let's see. We definitely need one more cannon here. Limited citizenship is okay. I just want as much assimilation as possible. You come here, I, I welcome everyone. As long as they want to be here and we can assimilate the living crud out of them. Ooh, what's going on in the world? What, is Mexico fighting the UK or something? Persian liberation of the Barani Fars, the Aden expedition. Mexican liberation of Los Alten Chipas. Wait, Los Altos. Ooh, that, oh, where is that? Oh, Los Altos is right here, Guatemala. Well, kind of Guatemala. Uh, well, I guess Mexico does have cores on it, so I mean, oh, and they just, Om nom 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 nom. Very cool. That's your fair. Uh, go state capitalism for now. America, take this. Oh, you got coal there? It looks so cool. HFM has such a unique, well, kind of unique, you know, font and style, artistic style to it. Hmm. Kansas. Colorado. There's like no one living here. I mean, actually, for the most part, they're just Native Americans or Indians or whatever you want to call them. And some Pueblos. I mean, they're still Native Americans. A few Mexicans here and there, you know. There's really no one that lives out here. So, you're telling me you got claims of land up there. Oh, hello. Rio Grande. Oh, hey, hey. Mm -hmm. Wait, hold on. Don't I have a Rio Grande down here? You are the fake imposter. You should deserve to not live. Voting rights rescinded. Well, you do what you do. Laredo. I've never been to Laredo. So, that's kind of the inspiration when you play Old World Blues. The Republic of the Rio Grande. Kind of cool. He also plays a Mormon someday too, maybe. Probably not. That'd be weird. But maybe. Let's go to increase relations with everyone. Oh, whoops. Russian Empire, sure. That. Uh, no harm, no foul. Now, I've heard of an HFM that it's a special little thing you can do if you play France, or France becomes OP and takes like the Rhineland away. If Germany hasn't formed and, and the French have taken like the Rhineland, like all of Germany will unite under one country and become like the German Confederation, which sounds amazing if you play as them. Sounds incredibly amazing. Alright, let's take a look at this. So, included. I really don't care. I'm probably in someone's sphere actually right now. So you guys are doing okay. You guys are doing okay. We can build forts. Which sounds like an okay thing to do. But first, let's make sure we build forts like in the most revolt risk prob problem area probably. Probably down here too. Yeah, I definitely could use more bureaucrats. I could use more core population. Hmm. Can, oh, that's really that's, that's going down. No, no, no. Oh, we need, we need, we need more. We need more. Come on, people, get pissed off at each other. We gotta get rid of the slaves. Well, that sounds weird. We can say it like that. Excuse, we need friendly. Oh, of course, they're cow lunins. Oh God. Oh no. Oh no. Don't tell me it's the first opium war. Oh, there we go. Actually, I've not looked at China yet. We might go to war with China eventually, and you know what? You can't get all your needs, so I'm going to lower this just by a little bit more. Oh, China, you're looking... You're looking a little bit more messed up than usual. So you got Guizhou, Yunnan, of course. There's Mongolian Inner Mongolia. There's Eastern Mongolia, Outer Mongolia. Tenutuva. Uh, Tomsk. Kashgar. Kamul Khanate, pretty much. Qing King, Queen Hai. Japan's all broken up still. Uh, I can do that first for now. Viet oh, Vietnam doesn't have that much land. Oh, they're at war, though, maybe. Oh, we built some naval bases. Actually, that's nice. 
Uh, right, Binky? I'm joining you with my Brazilian cat. I don't know if I said that earlier or not. Brazilian cat, Binky. Yeah. Yeah, Bink. Enjoying the day. And even though it looks like we're not doing anything right now, we kind of aren't. But, at the same time, I'm just waiting. I'm just like, if I go to war, we're going to lose these immigrants. And just, ugh, that just wouldn't be good. Uh, America still owns Liberia. Yes. Oh, please pause. Oh, we want more research points as fast as possible, though. Uh, and we want to build up our armies more. I want more population. So this way we can get bigger armies. We can afford more things. We can do have a greater time just doing stuff. Uh, right now, our greatest imports are grain, tea, and furniture. Huh. Our exports are coffee, tobacco, and lumber. Let's see. We have some tropical wood, which is good. I'm thinking we're going to need some coal. It's not in high demand. So I guess for now, let's go do that. Because we don't have any coal provinces, and coal, uh, I think, is pretty important. Oh, look. Nice. Next up... I want to purchase things that aren't too expensive right now, that we're definitely going to need for later. Our, you know, our budget's going to take a little bit of a hit, you know, whatever, whatever. It's okay, though, for now. You can only stock about 2,000, that's good. Ooh, you know what, I'll probably just stock about everything, eventually. Available. Uh, that, the price is going down. The price is kind of high for that, ooh, you know what? Ste ooh, that's pretty expensive, those are pretty darn expensive. Mm, coal. We really don't need silk. Wool, we got plenty of that for now. Dye. That's kind of on the... That's kind of... It says it's... Yeah, it was going up, and now it's going down, which is fine with me. Ooh, come on. Go down a little bit more. All right, let's do that. You never know if you might need it later on. Hello. Unemployed people. Well, I love that you're here and willing to work. But we kind of don't have any... One to give you factories. Ooh, that hurt our budget quite a bit. What are we buying? Total expenses? Oh, Uruguay nationalists. Someone's gonna teach you a lesson. Ah, now the budget's fine again. Let's teach the military. Go and build up land forts in our capital. That sounds like a good idea. Build up land forts right there. We're running out of money already. Whatever, it happens. Even if we don't raise our budget to deal with these guys, we should be good. Uh, you could've just went through there first, but whatever. Whatever. Can I get another army? Yes, I can. Good. Put them down, put them down. 7% education efficiency. Max that out, max that out. Good, good, good. Some people are not getting... The artisans are not getting any of their needs, huh? I've been told, or I've, I've looked it up, that you really shouldn't build factories early game. And this is still early early game, so we'll see what happens. I go to war with... Hmm. Uruguay, eventually. Well, we just don't have the the military strength to do that. Ooh, Mexico. Yucatan War. Oh! Yucatan War of Independence. That sounds like fun. Treaty of Nanjing. Oh! Unreasonable demands. That definitely won't bite you in the butt later on. Austrian Empire. I hope you never come down here. We'll do that too. Cool. Let's see. Yep. Uh, that's good to know. Yeah. British India, you're looking pretty ugly. I'm not gonna lie, that looks pretty ugly. But they'll fix it up eventually. And Hong Kong. Cool, East Canton, urban. And then there's, oh, that's tiny. Is that Macau? Yeah, that's Macau. Oh my goodness. Oh, Ching China. Oh my, Kiva, you're kind of isolated. It's 1842. We're doing not too bad. Not too bad for ourselves. Ooh, Ecuador. Oh, South American affairs. Peru wants you. You know what? We're going to take the prestige hit again. Oh, we definitely need, mm, We might get more prestige because we're almost ready to fall out of secondary power list. But unfortunately, that's probably going to be all the time that we have for today. We're already past the half hour mark. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Like, give me a like for all these immigrants that we're going to get and even more as more wars happen in Europe. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow as we try to make Brazil one of the greatest nations in South America. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.